I'd like to welcome everybody back to the Randolph County NC Beer Review. And tonight we are doing a, we're going to start a little thing here called Jim Beam. But this one here is a Jim Beam Black Extra Age. This was a, a gift, so I'm going to do, do one of each from different flavors over the next few times. But this one here is a, like I said, Jim Beam Black Extra Aged. Oh, by the way, I'm Alan. I'm Dylan. And that's Dylan. And this is supposed to be 86 proof. Double aged bourbon. Spent eight years in a some kind of charred white oak barrels. And uh, I'm not a, I'm not, not a real big Jim Bean fan, whiskey fan, but I'm definitely going to give it a try. And I'm going to get honest. If I like it, I don't. If I don't, if I don't, I don't. Something there about. If I like it, I'll tell you I like it. If I don't, I'll tell you I don't like it. But uh, have you ever had this before? I have not. He's not had it. So both of us has not had this before. Uh, let's see. It's, uh, this is... That those extra years of aging gives Jim Bean Black its caramel and warm oak. And for a fifth, it's about $22 for a fifth of alcohol here in the ABC stores here in North Carolina. We're going to open it up and give it a try. I guess this would probably go really go with, with Coke or something if you want to use it as a mixture. We're just going to do a plain shot, and, you know, and... Test it and see how we like it. I mean, it's supposed to be pretty much. It don't smell bad. No, it smells pretty tasty. You can smell a caramel though. Can you smell caramel? Not really. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers at home, everybody. Got a bite. It's got a definitely got a bite. Mm. Wow. You can definitely taste the the, the oat barrel mm. taste to it. You know, some you know people tell you they when they, these wine companies they taste you can take you what that's that warm you up. Hot. Woo. Yeah, that is definitely hot. If you want something hot, that might be that might be what you want. But uh you know it's 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 different. I mean it's you know it's getting a little colder now here in North Carolina, and it it would it would definitely warm you up. But I mean, it one to ten. What would you rate that? If you was to rate that one to ten, I'd say. Uh, now, remember, it's strong. I mean, it's you know, it ain't nothing that's you know. It's, it's, I, it's, I, I'd, I, I'd say it's six. It, it's yeah, not my I, was gonna, I was gonna say a five. Yeah, yeah. It's just. It's got some heat to it. Me, I'm not a real, I mean, I rather have a, you know, good cold beer than, you know, a, sh a shot of Jim Beam. But, you know, I, I, it's, this was given to me with some more different flavors of, of Jim Beam, so I'm going to try them. And I'm going to be honest with you, I, it's, it's not so, it's something I'm not going to sit, I'm not going to buy. I, I'm not going to buy it. No. Now, if it's a gift, I'll drink it. Yeah. Me, I would probably rate it a four or four and a half because it's just not for me. It's too strong because not unless you just mix it with something. Most time we're going to do a review here, we're just going to do it straight because that's what you know. I'm not here to taste Coca Cola because I know what taste Coca Cola tastes like. But for this, I mean, it's strong smell. I would say probably a four, four and a half. But I'm Alan. And I'm Dylan. And this is a Randolph County NC Beer Review, Jim Bean Whiskey Style. And if you like our video, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification. If there's anything, you know, that would, would, would go good with this that you know about, hit it in the comments below and let us know. And, and then, uh, you know, we, we might try this again sometime. Like I said, I'm Alan. That's Dylan. And this is a Randolph County NC Beer Review.